so excited for this film. Yeah. What made you want to sign on and get into the Haunted Mansion? Well, I think, you know, I, you know, I'm obviously connected to Cars Land and I've worked on Marvel and I felt it would be nice to be represented in another part of the park. Uh, so, uh, it's, um, but, but honestly, the thing that really sort of, uh, got me excited about working on it was just speaking with Justin, the director, and kind of hearing his ideas and his sort of connection to it and how determined he was to make something that, uh, kind of lives up to, uh, what people love about, uh, this ride and why it's such a classic. It really is like such a beloved ride. Yeah. Are you a fan? Yeah. I've never done it. Really? Yeah, I've never no, done like it. No like research, yeah. going to the park to research. No, I I'm actually going tonight, so um I you know, I'm looking forward tonight to seeing like, you know, okay, what sort of what stuff the movie has, uh, that we kind of that the park uh it's also going to be kind of interesting because I feel like, I don't know, will the ride be able to live up to these sets that they built uh, was so amazing. And that's kind of one of the things that I'm looking forward to with the movie is just visually, I think it's going to be pretty uh, stunning. And so, um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you know uh, uh, how the ride lives up to the movie. <laughs> Please do. It's so fun. It's one of my favorites. And the, yeah. the film looks sick. Did you guys film it down in location? In New Orleans? Yeah, we were filming, well, we were filming in Atlanta, the studio there where they had built a lot of the sets, including uh, some of the, you know, on the back lot, some of the outside stuff uh, that was, you know, it was, I mean, even filming that stuff at night, it had, I don't want to say it was haunted, but you definitely felt like, okay, there's something, uh, I'm going to stick close to people tonight. Uh, and then getting to go to New Orleans and sort of, you know, being in that great city and that city, it's, it's almost like one less thing to act because you're there and it's like, you believe that there are ghosts. No, did anything spooky happen? Any like just walking through, you know, the French Quarter at night, just trying to get back to my hotel. That was spooky. I'm sure. Okay, yeah. so killer cast. Did you guys get up to anything fun down there? Like, did you guys do anything while you were in the Big Easy? Well, there's so many great, you know. Um, it was great being in New Orleans, kind of, and we had such a great cast. So, sort of, you know, being there with Danny DeVito and getting to try some of the great sort of. Uh, you know, restaurants and hear the music, you know, the stuff that people love about New Orleans, but also just kind of filming on, uh, you know, some of these, you know, places that they had found, I think was exciting for the cast. Tiffany Haddish, she's such a kid. What was your first impression? Well, just when she walked on set, kind of seeing her, because I'd say, you know, I, I, that's another thing that I think is kind of cool that I'm looking forward to with the movie is just the sort of the costume design. And um, Jeffrey, the costume designer, did a, you know, I think a fantastic job. And Tiffany, I think uh, that might have been the best character just in terms of her sort of wardrobe and her kind of look. And, you know, like you see right there and kind of the nails and, um, yeah, uh, she was, you know, it took her, you know, it, when she walked on set, it was, uh, it was always kind of exciting to see her. And I loved the original. Did you get any words of advice or talk to your I Spy co-star, Eddie Murphy? From yeah. The original? Well, I just found out today that when we worked on I Spy, that the next year is when he did, uh, when he worked on this. So, um, no, but um, I, I seem to be sort of uh, following him there. But um, I think that the big thing that kind of Disney and what Justin wanted to do kind of was do something that had, you know, some of these kind of beloved uh, characters and go even deeper and sort of giving kind of a story in a way that would be kind of entertaining and satisfying for people that um, that love the attraction. For sure. Okay, we love to do these things called career flashbacks with people who have an incredible catalog like yourself. Okay. So I'm going to show you a picture of one of your films. You just tell me what you remember from it. Okay. So Wedding Crashers. Favorite memory <laughs> from Wedding Crashers? Uh, I loved working with Vince and seeing that picture. I felt that like of all the movies I've worked on, uh, that one was a great one in terms of just getting a real, and we'd talk about this, joie de vivre, uh, joy of life, and that comes across right there and uh, on our expressions. 
And selfishly asking you, are we getting a Wedding Crashers 2? Is, is it happening? You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Zoolander. So many good cameos. Favorite memory from that one? Uh, I loved working there with David Bowie and talking with him a little bit about Stevie Ray Vaughan, uh, who's sort of a Texas icon, and uh, asking him about that. And then this, of course, is the walk-off, and I'm not a good dancer in real life and get very self-conscious, so I was self-conscious doing this scene, and Ben had to kind of talk to me and say, you know, you got to kind of, you know, really commit to it. And I think I did, and um, I think that's sort of a, uh, that's, that ends up being a really good scene from the movie. And final one, Meet the Parents, Robert De Niro, <laughs> iconic. Yeah, um, what I think about that was kind of, it was lucky that I, you know, got cast. Um, I think Ben had suggested to the director, Jay Roach, that maybe I would be good, and, um, I think, you know, working with De Niro, I was really nervous. Uh, although by the time this picture was taken, I was already pretty comfortable with him uh, because he kind of put you at ease. But uh, yeah, it was a great character.